Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it, guys. Today's beer is Hoof Hearted. What? What'd you say? Hoof Hearted, yes. $60 nachos. That'd be a expensive plate of chips and cheese now, wouldn't it? Uh, I feel like it's got to that point though, guys. I mean, won't be long we'll be paying that much for it. Something don't happen. Got a change. This is a eight percenter. Eight percent. It says here, uh, brewed in uh, North Haven, Connecticut, distributed by twelve percent. Boy, they're getting their hands in everything nowadays. Uh, Forty-six degrees. Drink fresh. And speaking of fresh, on the bottom it says two four zero three seven. The 24, I would say, would be the year, and 037 would be the date of the year. So, this would have been done in first week of February. So, fairly fresh. Uh, these guys technically are out of Ohio, but you know, I don't know exactly. Uh, it says, uh, it says what it says on the can there, guys. And it's got the, the little $60 nacho <laughs> machine with the pumping out the dollar bills, or the $20 bills if it's $60. All right, guys, let's jump over to untie this $60 nachos. This is what happens when you let Dad out the house. Want to drink some ice cold beer? Well, I'm going to let you. Prime that cheddar cheese pump at the gooey Citra Simcoe and El Dorado. Does it smell? No, it stank. Plus, it itch snort. Ah, oh, man. Where, where'd they come up with this stuff? And these guys have always been a circus with their naming. Even the name of the brewery. Uh, and what they name the stuff and everything that goes along with it. Everything's a chuckle to them. So, and this beer was... Seven dollars and seventy-nine cents, almost eight bucks for this. Hmm, pricey, pricey, pricey. But they make some tasty stuff, guys. But you, you pay that price uh, to do it. So we got everything we need. Let's get it in the glass. That's what we need now. Yes. Very cloudy, very hazy, very New England s looking to me. They're not claiming it on on untapped or the can either one. But looks like a, we won't call it, we'll call it Northeastern instead of New England. Eh, that's just about a finger of head on that poor guy. Looks like orange juice in a glass, super clouded, super hazy. Just what this guy likes. Uh, man, I'm a big fan of this style of beer, guys. But, I do like a change every now and then, so let's get it to the nose and see what we got. Very citrusy, grapefruit, pineapple. Does it stank? It could stank. Super potent, guys. I mean, it's got a lot of different tropical fruit notes in there. Mango, papaya. I mean, I'm getting a little bit of melon and apricots, too. It's a plethora of tropical fruit aromas. That was awesome. Let's dive in. Cheers. Super pleasant. Very smooth. I don't think it's a lot of IBUs. Uh, they're not claiming any lactose, but it does have a nice a nice sweetness to it. Now, and I don't think a lot of them will admit to it, but I think 
there's a lot more lactose being used and the breweries are admitted to using especially in this style to make it so smooth and easy drinking that's delicious that is so smooth for eight percent it's amazing it is, it is amazing that they can they can do that mm -mm -mm. and I don't get it I mean I mean this is like a it's like a, a fruit drink but yet there's people that no I don't like it it doesn't taste like Miller it doesn't taste like Coors it doesn't taste like Budweiser it doesn't taste like crap some people you just can't reach <laughs> all we do is try guys that's super tasty let's go sip on it all right guys I'm back got a little bit left nice spacing here I parted knocks it out of the park again guys I mean I've been able to get my hands on a few of these now uh, either by sending in people my subscribers you guys sending them to me or, or being able to pick a few of them up across town here recently so I think they do some tasty stuff final check awesome aroma I mean it's a smorgasbord of aromas very nicely done wow let's, let's taste you know I fuss a lot of times guys about how much this stuff costs and I even have the ticket to tell you how much that I'm spending on some of these things that I'm picking up but, but again when it, you have a beer that looks like this and the process and the equipment that it takes to brew that and to brew it well and it's so juicy like this one is I mean it's like you're going to go into a convenience store or even a supermarket grocery store and you're going to go in and you're going to buy say you're going to buy a grape a, a can or a thing of orange juice and, and our grapefruit juice or tropical fruit juice or whatever you want to mix it with and and you're going to take a, a beer and you're going to put those two together how much are you going to pay for that beer and how much are you going to pay for that juice and you're going to have a beer and juice basically that's what this is this is fruit juice <laughs> with alcohol and of course it doesn't have any fruit in it all that comes from all the hops and the brewing technique and process to achieve what you have in front of you which is kind of miraculous to me if you think about it what you end up with and when there's absolutely zero juice in there and you get all those aromas and tastes so again in perspective yeah there's a lot that goes into it so and the people selling it you know the, the place that I'm buying they have rent and employees and all that so everybody gets their little slice so that's why all those the distribution the, the guy delivering it or however they're getting possession of it and somebody's running it up and down the highway to get to his location so again a lot of miles on some of these beers when they're brewed all the way across the country or all the way in northeast or all the way down in florida or texas or, i mean a lot of transportation costs there guys it, it is so i fuss a lot but it's all relative especially when stuff is expensive as it is nowadays it's just it's everything is just out of hand so again i took off again this is a very tasty beer guys I think it's an A beer and that's where I'm going to put it the dates on it it's a code but still not that hard to figure out A solid A 95 let me jump over to Beer Advocate they have a 91 I think it's tastier than that this is a uh, a beer that's representative to where my palate is now this is the kind of beer that I would prefer to drink daily it's that pleasant to me and my palate where it's at right now so let's jump over to a tap for the final verdict they have it at 4.04 .04 with over 21,000 ratings been doing this one for a while haven't they yes they have so 
I say they have perfected it. And if you say it's a tin beer, I would not argue with that. If I'd have had this beer a few years ago, I would have probably gave it a 10 and it probably blew my hair back and flop flop. And it's worthy. It is tasty beer, guys. So, again, I wouldn't have been disappointed if I'd have bought a four pack of this. It would have been very pleasant beer. And, you know, if I had deep pockets, I probably could have, should have, would have. But I didn't. And I don't. So, with that being said, if you've had $60 nachos, mmm, let me know what you think, guys. Till we met again, bet. Let's go see what's in the fridge.